What if we wrap his motorcycle in plastic wrap and melt it with a hair dryer? Little trick I learned in gift basket making class. All right. Yeah. Here's what we're up to. Okay. Steal his kidney, burn down his house, replace his aloe tissues with regular tissues. Thank you, Charles. You're welcome. Leave a dead cat in his cedar closet. Note, he would have to own a cedar closet. He seems like he would. Uh, sneak into his apartment and burn popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Uh, Scully asked for mashed potatoes, so I wrote that down. Well, I hate to say it, but I think by default, Charles's motorcycle idea is the winner. Yeah, winning by default. Let's get into it. Anybody know where the Vulture lives? On third, right near here. How do you know that? Chuckin' boys, we're rolling. <laughs> Take that, Vulture. Let's melt this Woo thing. All right, give me your hair dryer. What, what are you talking about? Don't you carry one in your purse? Have you ever met a human woman? There's a drugstore four blocks away. I'm on it. Oh, no. Scully traveling four blocks? That could take weeks. Whew. Gina's authentic stolen police badges. How can I help? Hey, it's Peralta. Oh, hey, Jake. Hey, do you carry a hair dryer in your purse? Of course. I'm not an animal. Great. Uh, I need you to bring it to the Vulture's apartment. There's someone named the Vulture? Tell Rosa she'd be into that. Come on. Peralta, why are you asking Gina about Detective Pembroke? Oh, Captain, hello. Uh, we are preparing him a gift basket of sorts. Look, I understand that you're upset, but if you want to keep this from happening again, I suggest that you pull your team together and solve these cases before major crimes can step in. Am I clear? Yes, sir. That is definitely clear. Thank you, sir. You should be frowning. Why is Jake smiling? Why are you smiling? Because the captain just gave us the perfect revenge plan. We team up and solve this case right now. That is not what he meant. Okay, think about it, Amy. We go back to the scene of the crime, find the murder weapon, and out vulture the vulture. No one gets in trouble if we crack the case. Okay, screw it. I'm in. Yes, that's right. All right. We're angry. We're getting revenge. We're a little bit tipsy. We should not be driving. We're taking the bus. I love the bus. All right, here's how it went down. 9.45, a man screams. 90 seconds later, wife goes down to the doorman, says a guy murdered her husband and then ran off. We know she's lying. We just gotta find the corkscrew to make our case airtight. I say we role play, see if something sparks. Darling, thank you for a lovely dinner. Perhaps we should have one more drink before bed. Don't you darling me, you philanderer! No, you're the husband. The husband had the affair. I'm always the victim. I don't want to be the victim. Okay, Charles is the door. No, I'll be the victim. Don't make me a door again. Great. Okay, so, wife goes into the drawer, gets the corkscrew, stab, stab, stab! What did she do with the corkscrew? She dumps in the hallway trash chute on the way to the doorman. No, we checked the trash like ten times. We would have seen a bloody corkscrew. All right, Hitchcock, you're up. The body. The corkscrew still in the body. No, you're terrible at this. Go sit down. You're up, Diaz. Yeah! Then I toss the corkscrew out the window and it lands on a passing car. Security cam showed no one driving by at that time and nothing on the street. Okay, I want in, but I only want to stab you. Fine. Charles Dort. Right. <clears throat> okay, uh, sweetheart. Time to die. That yeah, seems a little harsh. What if it was a magnetic corkscrew? If the corkscrew was on a magnet? It's stuck halfway down the inside of the trash chute. I figured it out first. Oh, wow. What's happening? You have a 10 pound flashlight in your purse, but not a hair dryer? Oh, I can't see far enough down. Someone's gonna have to go down in there. Someone with narrow shoulders. No, I have broad shoulders. I have narrow hips, but broad shoulders. God. See anything? A little lower. Freeze! Hands in the air. We're cops. Broad shoulders. Stuck. Told you. Broad shoulders. 